this is why blockchain is so interesting so because it will not only change our customers but it will also change how we do our business and i believe th this shows already how disruptive this potentially can be my name is Johan Finger. I'm a partner uh, with, the, with the Deloitte Switzerland um, in the banking uh, industry. Uh, so my main job is to do projects uh, with bank, banks, mainly transformation uh, projects. Uh, and uh, my second role is being the blockchain lead in uh, Switzerland, uh, where I look after the complex topic of blockchain uh, across our service lines. If this is really business-wise already a very important topic, or if it's more because everyone knows it's an important topic, let's let's have a innovation group looking after blockchain. Not 100% sure, but definitely these these banks are really uh, exploring uh, the potential of uh, blockchain on their own. They do white papers. They think about what blockchain means uh, for the bank. If such a technology is used, what does it mean? So definitely, especially uh, the intermediaries in the middle, might get less relevant uh, in, in, in such a system. We, we have to see. But as a bank that in the end advises customer what to do with their money on this kind of thing, I don't believe this is going away, but maybe more how it is done, this might get more efficient uh, going forward. And I think this is a something that happens all the time, uh, started in the industri industrial revolution, so nobody should really be afraid of that. We have the a kind of traditional business advising our customer what to do. So don't believe too much is going to change. But if you look at other businesses like uh, audit or where the trust is very important, um, the blockchain allows a very transparent way of doing business. And instead of in earlier times when you looked at reports uh, once in a month or whatever, I believe blockchain enables a complete new field. And this is also something that affects ourselves as a, a, as a big four company. We cannot sit in our office and, and study and whatever. Of course, we do that as well. But we need to go out. We need to particip participate uh, in this whole um, blockchain community and uh, honestly what is very new to me especially the younger person in my team how enthusiastic they are about that so if there is a hackathon for example organized whatever they never come to me and say hey, young can I go there do you uh, can I get some money uh, for that they just go you know they're so interested uh, they they just go and participate and and share what what they learned and we have further discussion and I believe this is really a new way also for us how we deal uh, with this kind of new technology we are really in the middle of it nobody tells us what to do it's really we together shaping let's say what what the ambition, what, what we stand for in the end for blockchain. I think what's new for me is that, that there's nothing right or wrong. I, I believe it, it would be wrong to say that I know or anyone know where we're leading to. And as I mentioned before, I think this is the biggest change to encourage people to go forward and, and, and explore. Because, uh, and, and I think this is really what, what, what needs to be done. And I think it's also unbelievable how, how these people react when they realize they have the trust from my side that they should really go out. And maybe if, it, it, look, maybe 80% is wrong. I mean, wrong is not the future or whatever it is. Okay, you know, let, then he beat and we have to go to another direction, you know, but I think this is new. This is not what we know because normally we have a plan. We know exactly what we want to do and we just do it. And in this area, I think it's not going to work like that. So I think I need the intelligence of all these people and the discussion together where we want to go and not to go to move forward. And I believe that's new to me. And this is also a bit like a little fintech from the attitude, how we uh, work towards the future.
you can imagine there is also a clash between this kind of view versus many people in the, in the company, you know, that still work a bit the, the old way. And it's also uh, one of the, uh, of the tasks of, of us to educate uh, people about, about our blockchain, how, how it works, etc., etc. And I, I see as soon as people have seen the power of blockchain, uh, I see a lot of understanding and, and interest in this whole area. So I've really seen very uh, long-standing partners when they saw the whole opportunity really to change, to say, hey, I don't understand everything, but I understand there is something behind. So we need really to go forward. That, that's really great.